Hey guys, Doug here, how's it going? Welcome to Gift Spice Exclusive Week on my channel here. So I actually have scored a huge collection of Lee Max uh, Gift Spice Exclusives for this year. These are part of the Santa's Wonderland collection, which uh, if you're not familiar with, Santa's Wonderland is like the whimsical North Pole style uh, storybook. You know, Santa Claus with his helpers. Uh, it's just a really, really cool theme. And uh, I'm happy to be reviewing them. So I'm going to be doing these four buildings throughout the week. During those reviews also, you're going to see some of these accessories as well. And I'll talk about them briefly. So for those of you that are confused, you know what I mean by exclusive. So Gift Spice is an online Lemax retailer. And uh, every year they have, you know, their own exclusives. Just like Michael's gets some of their exclusive buildings. You can only buy at Michael's. Uh, Sears and Kmart are the same way. You can only buy those Lemaxes there. And uh, for Gift Spice, they're an online-only shop. So that's the only place you can get them is in, on Gift Spice uh, website. And uh, I'll have them linked, uh, of course, you know, to each different piece here in the description below. So for today for you, I have the Reindeer Grooming Barn. And this building is so freaking adorable, it's almost sickeningly so. So before getting into this building, the uh, accessories I'm also going to show off here... Uh, it's the Santa Street signs, which are, you know, pretty self-explanatory, the signs. I have the North Pole Hot Springs, which is a really cool, uh, bigger accessory, and the uh, Taking a Break, which is the elves and the uh, polar bear. So uh, I'll talk about them in just a minute. So the Reindeer Grooming Barn is a lit building, uh, or lit house. There's no, uh, you know, auxiliary lighting or anything like that, anything blinking. It's a lit house. It actually, it has three, uh, a slot for three AA batteries underneath it, or you can use one of the standard Limax power adapters. I actually like when buildings have this option because I have so many cords uh, in a lot of my setups that it makes it simple if you can use batteries, especially because I don't run them all the time. I kind of pick and choose, you know, when I run them, and it's just nice to have the option. So for the actual theme of this building, it is, again, as I mentioned, it's adorable. It is uh, a car wash for reindeer. You know, the reindeer are out there, they're working hard, they're helping Santa deliver the presents, and they got to get their wash too. So one of the things you'll notice here on the top of it is there's actually, a, uh, you know, the drive-through or fly-through, if you will, you know, hole here for them to quickly fly through and get it done. I guess, you know, it's kind of supposed to be water jets in there. You know, the fake water jets. Uh, really cool. This building, actually, it comes with a sign not installed. And uh, you can see here, it's the, uh, the Soaps for a Beautiful Coat sign. Really nicely detailed. Up in the front of the building, you've got, you know, one of the elves here um, who's washing one of the reindeer. Uh, I love how this looks. This building has a really nice paint job, fit and finish. Uh, really, really nice. A sign here, free hoof trim with wash. It's, uh, again, it's all pretty cute. The main motif here, you know, you've got the big reindeer grooming barn sign. The roof is like candy cane, you know, paint. That's the big thing. So in this line also, there's a lot of red, white, and green, like you might expect right for Christmas. On the side here is actually kind of the rotisserie wash. And I love this. There's a reindeer in the middle of a wash. And uh, again, it looks super cute. Above it is kind of the, uh, you know, like a barrel contraption where he gets the, uh, I guess the water simulated water pressure from. I like how these build uh, this one in particular, they all have this kind of uh, Rube Goldberg type contraptionist type design and uh, it's another thing I really really like. So getting into these accessories here real fast, you know there's a Welcome to North Pole sign here in that little set, the Santa Street sign set. Uh, also the Reindeer Flight Practice Zone, both of them are uh, you know really nice, cool paint jobs. Uh, the one that's called Taking a Break are actually two elves who are you know chilling out basically having a break sleeping on a polar bear and uh, it reminds me sort of of the uh, Coca-Cola polar bear, you know the one that drinks the coke. Um, but so the final accessory here, and this is a bigger one, is the North Pole Hot Springs. And um, while this accessory isn't lit, it's still, you know, of pretty substantial size. And uh, I really, really like how this is, both in theme and fit and finish. It looks very, very nice. Um, this is uh, basically, you know, Santa and the elves hanging out in a hot spring, you know, enjoying it. And if you've ever done this before, uh, it's really cool to be either in a hot tub, spring, something like that, when it's freezing outside because the water is uh, super hot and it, it does feel nice. So it's, uh, it's pretty funny here. You know, Santa's clothes are on the side. Um, there's penguins and a you know a little polar bear on the back of it here, and um, but the water has a very very nice finish, kind of a little sheen to it also. Um, very very impressive paint job. I'm a you know a big fan of this piece. Um, just just really nice detail, uh, really cool. And you can kind of see here I've got them put together. Uh, you know I'm gonna start doing this more um, for a lot of these videos, try and incorporate more accessories into them when I can. And um, as I go through these Gift Spice uh, exclusives here this week, I'm going to kind of just put them all together near the end of the videos and kind of build and build to show you how you know, easy it is to make a village setup if you've got you know, just a few pieces. So anyways, you know, final thoughts here on the Reindeer Grooming Barn. Uh, this is a killer building. It's not very big. The lighting is not very extravagant. 
uh, but the theming is really, really good. I would give this an 8 out of 10. If you're into the Santa's Wonderland collection or, you know, you just like the more whimsical, fantastical elements, you know, of a, of a Christmas village, this should be in your collection. I, I think it's really, really cool. And uh, Lee Max did a really good job on this. And uh, I'm excited to talk about this whole line, guys, because there's some really cool buildings here. I've been wanting to get into the Santa's Wonderland stuff for a while, and uh, I'm glad it looks like that Lee Max is, um, you know, starting to get back into it here again. So thank you guys for watching. I will be back tomorrow with a... Uh, another building in this line, and I will see you then.